Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you the answers of assignment 3 of the NPTEL course problem solving through programming in C. And the last date for this assignment is 14 February. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And for question number 1, the correct answer is option A. And this is the correct order of precedence. Okay, for question number 2, let's have a look at the solutions so option d is the correct answer for question number two because i is a float and the module operator cannot operate on float okay it can only operate on integers as its operands so option d is the correct answer compilation error okay let's take a look at the solution of question number three so we will apply the correct operator precedence and associativity and these are the steps you can pause the video and go through them and the final answer would be option C 15 now let's take a look at the solution of question number four Okay, again using the correct operator precedence and associativity option C is the correct answer 4 please hit the like button if you enjoy this video and let's move to question number 6 let's take a look at my solution so the correct option is option B false So this is the option, correct option for question number 5. Let's take a look at the solution of question number 6. Option A is the correct answer. Because the value of this expression inside if is true. Let's take a look at the solution of question number 7. The correct answer is option A true because x assigned 1 is true because the value is assigned to x. Okay, please join the telegram group which I will link in the description to get more timely updates. Okay, for question number 8, the correct option is option A. For question number 9, the correct answer is option C. For question number 10, the correct option is option A, 0. Because if any of the operands of the AND operand is false, the result of AND operation will be 0. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.